Alright, let's marry Azura for the last time. Small lake in the middle of the woods. Reminds me of where I once met Azura. Oh, hello, Drake. What brings you out here? I was looking for you, in fact. I apologize if I interrupted your singing. It's no trouble. Is there something I can help you with today? I actually wanted to talk with you about something I realized. I believe that you and I are in a unique position regarding Nor and Hoshido. I'm a prince of Nor who was raised in Nor, or er, I'm a prince of Hoshido who was ra raised in Nor, and you are a princess of Nor who was raised in Hoshido. Ah, I see what you mean. I agree that we're pretty unique. Because of this background, I think we may have interesting views on the countries. I wanted to talk with you and compare what we each believe. That is quite interesting. We could start with Hoshido. From my perspective, it seems so warm and bright. The land is fertile, and it seems like no one is ever wanting for anything. A valid observation. This, this bountifulness makes everyone amiable and respectful. Not and yet, they always have the threat of a Norian invasion hanging over them. Indeed, which is quite unfair. Nor is always the aggressor, and without reason. That does seem to be the case, but... What if you consider the Norian side? Can you try and imagine how the people in Nor view Hoshido? I suppose the carefree attitude of Hoshido might look indifference, look like indifference to others. It could give people the impression that Hoshidans are very self-centered. So long as there is peace, the people in Hoshido seem uninterested in the world. I had never th heard that opinion before, but I think it could have some merit. It could be one of the reasons that Nor dislikes Hoshido so much. I'm glad to be able to look at this situation with a new perspective. I'm sure we'd benefit from continuing this conversation. I agree, though we'll have to continue at another time. The day has only just started, and there's a lot to do. Until next time, Azura! Hello, Drake, you've come calling again. Indeed, I was hoping we could continue our com the, the conversation we were having the other day. Of course, we were going to talk about Nor, were we not? Yes, I spent most of my life in Nor, and I, and I can safely say it was always gloomy. Besides the dark forests, the dark forests, there were all, there were very little plant life among the rocky terrain. From what I've read, most of the land is tundra, and bad for farming. I've always heard that the people of Nor are especially cold to outsiders. It's almost like the world they live in has deeply influenced their mentalities. You can dismiss that thinking, though. I know many Norians who are kind-hearted. Just look at our allies from Nor if you want proof that that is a misconception. Interesting, like with Hoshido, if we look at Nor with a different perspective, we learn a, we learn, we both learn a bit more. Nor has invaded other regions many times over the years, but talking about it now, it could be that their biggest motivation has been jealousy or feeling alienated. After all, anyone would get upset if they were often made to feel inferior. If that, if, and if that's how Hoshido has made Norians feel, even accidentally, it's good to know. It doesn't excuse Norian actions, but it does help understand them. And by understanding, we might be a step closer to bringing peace to the world. If we can find a way to ease the tensions that both nations feel, first we have to eliminate the evil that is getting in the way. But that's for another time. I think there are too many things to do today. You're right, I'd be glad to continue this conversation later. Hi, Drake. Are you here to continue our chat from the other day? Indeed I am. We've already covered Nor and Hoshido, so we should talk about... No! Sorry, I mean, you know how it works. You can't say anything here. I can take us there through the lake, and then we can talk. Oh, of course. What was I thinking? We'll be there in just another few moments. And here we are. Easy enough. Still so strange to see this place. It's unlike anything in Hoshido or Nor. Now that we're in Vala, we can safely talk about it. It is what you wanted to talk about, right? Yes, I don't know why the curse slipped my mind. You know, Drake, it really isn't the Kingdom of Vala that is a problem. The entire conflict is a result of the will of Anankos. That's right, Anankos, the King of Vala. I was only able to find the occasional mention of him in ancient texts. Texts. Usually he was referred to as a sort of god, right? Whether he is a demon or a god, I am not sure, but he possesses incredible power. I've heard a legend about how long ago power a powerful entity gave humans great power. In return, he required their faithfulness. Through this though this alliance was meant to last for all time, the humans did not honor it. Over time, they discovered and acquired powers, power from other sources. As they did, this, 
As they did this, they slowly abandoned the entity that had aided them. Insulted by this betrayal, the being went berserk. And that being... It was Anenkos? There is no way to know for sure, sadly. It would explain why he's out to destroy Nor and Hoshido, though. What a sad story. Indeed, but it also teaches us an important lesson, I think. We've talked about the conflict between Nor and Hoshido. This, this story teaches us what can result from holding a grudge too, for too long. I agree, we have to focus on what we can do to improve the world. It may mean that we sometimes have to fight, but it doesn't always have to. Anytime we can turn to an, in, an enemy into an ally, we should at least try. Indeed, but we've drifted from our topic. We should head back, it's dangerous to be here by ourselves. Very well. Thanks for the conversation, Drake. Time flies, and I feel like we grow a lot each time we talk. I feel the same. I think we've discovered a special connection between us. I'll always cherish this special friendship. Likewise, until next time, Drake. I will do the same. Looking forward to spending more time with you, Drake. Oh, uh, it's about to be more than just a special friendship. And you're going to be spending a lot more time together. By the... Sh by my... Uh, elite... Azura! I shall now marry you. For the third time. I wonder if I'll find Azura by that lake again. Can't hurt to check. Is that a shadow over there? I think so. It must be her. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What? Who's over there? It's me. I'm sorry, Azura. I didn't realize that you'd be bathing. Drake, could you turn around? I need to dress. Oh, of course, I'm sorry. Okay, you can turn around. I can't stop apologizing, Azura. I was coming here to talk to you, and... I didn't see anything, I swear. Nothing at all. I had a feeling someone was around for a bit before you spoke up. Well... Okay, maybe I saw your back, but only for a moment. You're a beautiful woman, Azura. I couldn't look away. But peeping on someone who is bathing, that's just... Ugh. I'm a bit upset, but I'll forgive you this one time. Thank you, Azura. I promise to be more aware and more careful. I wouldn't want to end up on your bad side, especially now that, well... Pardon me, you kind of trailed off there, Drake. I've been thinking since we've had our last conversation. Talking about the major kingdoms and the reasons for this war... We fight. All the mysteries that surround things in the world just didn't seem as important. What are you talking about? We could have been talking about the shade or the color of the sky. What was important was being able to spend time that time with you. Oh, Drake... Honestly, I've been trying to find a way to tell you that I feel exactly the same the same way. What? I also really, really enjoy just talking with you all that time. I want to believe that it was fate that you and I came together. Two people like us with past so similar to each other. It could have only meant to be it could it only could have been meant to be. I think so too. Whatever happens in the world, I believe that you and I are tied together and what br binds us is stronger than all else. I'll stay by your side, Azura. We can take on the entire world if we have to. We'll always be together. I somehow feel that I have always loved you. Together, we will save this world. Please, never let me go. Hooray! Ah, yes, 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 okay. Yes, yes, the Deep Realms, yes. Okay. I'll, I'm not gonna go get Kana right away. I'm gonna wait on that. So, without further ado, let's actually start the chapter. Chapter 11. Oh, and yeah, we can go get Shigure, too. But, uh, yeah, we're, I'll save that for later. Chapter 11, Forest in Mokushu. Oh, boy. Mutual Enemies. Drake rescues Archduke Izana from a Norian illusionist and gains a valuable ally, Takumi. The group then heads into a forest to rescue more Hoshin forces. We're going up against Mokushu again. Ah oh boy, here we go. Huh? Huh? Everyone, hold up! I see something in the distance! It looks like a plum of smoke? Huh? A plume? Plum? No, nah, definitely plume. That isn't just any smoke, it's my brother's smoke signal. Saizo's there? What does the smoke signal mean? He is... 
and it means that he's engaging a large number of enemy troops. We need to go help him then! No, Lord Drake, if he has sent up that specific smoke signal, well, that isn't him asking for help. That signal is meant to warn allies away. He believes it is too dangerous there. We should head in a different direction. You can't be serious! Kaze, that's your own brother out there! No, I've made up my mind. Everyone, get ready for battle. We're going to help Saizo. Lord Drake, why? You'll be putting us all in danger. The enemy we are facing can't be beaten if we don't gather allies. And I won't sit on my hands when an ally is in need. We have to, we have to be willing to help each other, no matter how dangerous the situation is. If you insist, Lord Drake, thank you. This looks like the place where the smoke signal was sent up. Do you think Saizo and his foes are still in the area? I don't, I don't know. It is difficult to tell. We've entered Mokushu territory. This area is heavily forested, making it easy to get lost. We should stay close. Look, there are footprints leading deeper into the forest. Let's follow them. It's so dark and gloomy here. It's kind of scary, really. If you need to, you can hold on to my arm. Thank you. We're pretty deep in the forest now. This place is practically a maze. What the? Lord Takumi, look out! Woo! Kotaro? A shuriken? What's this? Not, just any not, not just any shuriken either. That was the kind Mokushujin fighters use. What? Mokushujin are attacking us? They're about to. That was only a scout. Oh. There are more enemies heading this way. Everyone, get ready for them! Well, here we go. Oh, shit! There they are. Saizo, Orochi, and Reina. Yeah, they, they, could, they look like they could use some help. Okay. Yeah, and there's Kotaro. That fucker. There's a chest. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we got archers. We got a bunch of ninjas. It looks like. We got a master ninja right over there. Uh, archers. Uh, a diviner. Spear fighters, samurai, a couple of shrine maidens. Mm hmm. Well, looks like we're in for a fight. Oh yeah. Uh, where's do, where's Takumi? 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 No, right there. Right there. Okay. So I bought uh, Takumi's skills. I got them for Takumi. From the other Takumi for my birthright file. So now he has a uh, certain blow and bow fair. So yeah. So let me get go ahead and get ready here. Alright, let's do this. Start battle. Yes. It looks like a group of fighters has, has entered the forest. Friends of yours, I imagine. They must not be too bright. What kind of fool walks right into an obvious trap? You never fall for that, right, Kigero? Being a retainer to Prince Ryoma and all. Oh wait, you did. You're a disgrace. To all ninja. Why have you taken me prisoner? Mokushu is allied with Hoshido. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've decided to ally with King Garen. I've been waiting for this for a long time, honestly. Once Oshido has been defeated, Mokushu will rise up to replace it. I, I'll finally become a true king! You've lost your mind. Ah, uh, ouch! No need to be so insulting. Right now, it's more prudent to keep you alive. But that could change at any time. You, take her away! Yes, sir. I've always been prepared to die carrying out my mission. Never realized, though, how much it would hurt to have failed Lord Ryoma. If only I delivered his message. Orochi, have we reached the spot where Kagero was captured? No. This looks like the area our scout described. However, we've gone so deep into the woods that I can't be sure. 
We can't just stand here doing nothing. Let's search the area. I can almost taste the bitter animosity in it. Please let me handle anyone who stumbles upon us. The acoustics here will make their last words all the more beautiful to hear. Don't lose focus, Reyna. We can't afford to die here. Don't worry, Kagero. We're coming. Over there, is that Saizo? Yes, he seems to be engaging the same enemies we are. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's how the saying goes, isn't it? Talk to Saizo. He may be more than willing to join us now that he, than he was before. Okay. Well, he's all the way over there. Well, yeah, he's all the way over there, so it's kind of going to be a, a bit tricky, but maybe I could reach him this turn, maybe. If I use Azura and Felicia, then maybe I could. Well, yeah, let's try it. First, we gotta get rid of some of these ninja. Ah, whatever. Okay, switch. And yeah, Takumi. He knows how to deal with ninjas. He knows how to deal with a lot of things with the Fujin Yumi. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Alright, and now... Yeah, there you go. What up, Saizo? Are you okay? Are you alright? Drake, what are you doing here? We came to help you. That was your smoke signal we saw, right? What? It was, but that wasn't a distress yeah. signal. Yes, I know. Kaze told us it was meant as a warning. But there's no way I just abandoned you to the enemy. To me, you're a valuable ally. You don't only risk yourself just to help us. Ha, huh, very well. You've beaten me. No traitor would behave as you have. Lady Sakura must have been right about your motivations. Let us fight together. Thank I won't let you down, Saizo. Thank you for joining us. There is no time to waste. One of our allies, a ninja named Kagero, is being held captive. She was supposed to locate Lord Ryoma and return to us. We have to save her. We'll do everything we can to help. Thank you. I'll let my allies know that we will be fighting together. Okay. And with that... Huh? Oh, Rana doesn't have any arrows? Well, why the fuck not? Why doesn't she have a bow and arrow? Come on! Okay, fine. Ugh, well, in that case... We are really in a bad spot. Jesus. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're kind of in a really tight spot. If we had started more from the corner over here, like we did in Birthright, that would be a bit more pleasant. That would honestly be a lot more pleasant. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Let's use the iron Naginata.
Okay, so I'll put Hinata right here, because being paired up with Gunter, he'll have a defense of 15, so he'll be he'll be better he'll be better at dealing with uh, these guys. Oh yeah, and look at that. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, so I'll put him right here. Yeah, and then we'll we'll box these guys in. Excellent, okay. Alright, I like how I okay, I've turned this around a little bit. Alright. You guys step back a little bit. Uh why don't you come over here? I really don't care about spike damage for right now. Okay, uh now let's see. What else can we do? I think I can end the turn now. So yeah, Hinata will be just fine. He'll, he'll be just fine. And now... Okay, yes, yes, yes. That really doesn't mean anything when I have Azura healing with that ability of hers. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of this guy now. Yeah. Okay, now... Takumi with the Fujin Yumi! <laughs> or maybe I should have someone else try to, like... Mm, well, yeah, um, maybe Oboro? Uh, Tsubaki? Ah, with the Steel Naginata, it works. But I want, I, I want, I want it to be. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe Rinka? I don't think that's enough. Let's just use Takumi with the beautiful Fujin Yumi. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to have Takumi again. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, the, now, let's see. Uh, I'm at 23 minutes, but I think I can go a little bit longer, because, you know, there was that stuff with the Azura conversation in the beginning, so... Yeah. Um... Now what? Okay, I think we should... I think the first thing we should do is get rid of all the enemies on this side. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like a better plan. That sounds like a good idea, okay. Alright, so let's start moving, people. And let's see, over here we got some ninjas. We'll take care of them. Actually, I could use the spikes to grind up Sakura. I could do that. Oh, I could totally do that. Oh, I think I might just do that. But you know what? Nah, nah, we'll stop the part now. Okay, so see you for part two.